Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make a dolphin shorts with elastic band and without side seams. I hope you will like it. Let's get started! In drafting the pattern for dolphin shorts, these are the things needed. So we have the pattern paper, hip curve, French curve, ruler, tape measure, scissors, and markers. Markers for front and back. For this pattern, make sure that your pattern paper has a center fold since our dolphin shorts has no side seams. To start drafting, draw a horizontal line on top of your pattern paper about 1.5 inches width. Then mark the corner A as your starting point. So we need only three body measurements, the shorts length, hips, and crotch. So the hip should be divided into four plus three inches for the elastic band. And then crotch, we need to add one inch for a seam. So let's start drafting. So from point A to get point B, Use the crotch measurement. So the crotch is 9 plus 1, so that is 10 inches. So this is point B. Then from point A to get point C, use the short length. Short's length is 13 inches, so this is point C. Project point C and point B to the right. Then from point B to get point D, Use the hips measurement. Divided by 4 plus 3 inches. So this is point D. Then point D to E. Measure 2 inches to, to the right. So this is point E. Then extend line D up to point E. Then point F to get point F, this is the same as point B to D. So the measurement of point B is the same as A to F. Then connect point D to F. From point D to get point G, measure 3 inches upward. Then shape point G to E using French curve. To get point H from point C, measure B to E minus 1 inch. 
So, this is B to E, then less 1 inch. So, this is now your point H. Connect point E to point H. From point C to point I, measure 2 inches upward. So this is point I. Then using hip curve, shape the hemline of your shorts to make it a dolphin style. So our front pattern is already done. So this is the front. To drop the back pattern, so we are going to use another marker for us to easily separate the back pattern. So for the back pattern, let's start with point F. From point F, measure 1 inch upward. So this is point 1. So you just extend line point F upward then connect 1 to point A then from point D to the right measure 3 inches for the back crotch crotch so, this is point 2. Again, extend your point E to the right. Then, connect point 2 to point G using French curve. Then, to get point 3, measure point B to 2. Minus... 1 inch. So this is point 3. Extend your point H to the right, then connect point 2 to 3. So this is our back pattern for doping shorts. Then, let us cut the pattern to separate the back pattern. So, let us first cut all the outside lines. Remember that we have no seam allowance for this pattern. We will just put the seam allowances directly on the fabric. open to see the other part of our short. So, this is our back part. So, to make it front, you have to cut all the back lines. So, let us remove what we added for the back. So, all blue lines are the front part. So, this is our pattern for the front and back of a dolphin shorts.
for this pattern, you need one yard of fabric. So, to lay out this pattern on the fabric, make a crosswise center fold. Facing both right sides. So this is the lengthwise where the selvage is located and this is the crosswise. So we need the layout on the wrong side. This is the right side. Then place the pattern. Remember that your pattern has no seam allowance. That's why we need to allot allowance on the fabric.
Thank you.